Hey, what's good, Knuckles fan? Mitch Bar R. Knuckles here to finally give you the uh, re um, reunion recap of the challenge uh, Total Madness. And I'm going to start by saying I thought this reunion was kind of boring. I mean, I kind of was expecting it to be a little, bit, a little bit boring because due to the fact that um that it was a Zoom call. Sorry, I'm just like getting ready for work. Is it was it was a Zoom call and um and nothing like nothing really insane really happened like it just like re over they just re ran over everything that happened but it really wasn't like any like any like super drama into it like it just it just wasn't anything too crazy like it's i mean like i said not a whole lot really happened i mean they just talked about how bananas you know as he, he said like he felt like, you know he might, he might not even win this uh ch win this um this final guy like said it's been like six seasons since he's won one and now you know he's finally won one and i mean i think this would be a great he didn't say he, if he were retired but like if he to ret retire it'll be that would be just be the perfect ending to his challenge career which you know if you see him in another challenge again i mean that'd be that'd be dope but like I think this would be the perfect his perfect goodbye. Like it, 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 it just would. I mean, granted, it's his life. He can do what he wants. But I just feel as though the end on top. I feel as though it's the best feeling. So we'll see if he really tr will truly um will truly stop. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure that'll make a lot of the other competitors happy. Like, oh, he retired. Bet. But awesome. Now I can win the next challenge for sure. And then there was also a, a little things that I noticed. It's like when Casey was talking about her experience there, you see it, the camera pointed on. Bailey as well, and I'm like, okay, why they do that? I mean, clearly they, you know, why they did that. But it's like, okay, why not? Why are they doing that? Then you know, and here's the thing, I gotta apologize to Melissa. I'm just like, I can't remember what I said in the last video. I'm like, I'm like, oh, why did she quit? I completely forgot that Homegirl was pregnant during this challenge, and she found that she was pregnant. Well, she felt like she felt something wrong in the final. That's why she quit. Come to find out, you know. She was pregnant. She went. She thought. She. I think she said the baby like, "Oh, I think I might be pregnant." And as she wanted to get checked. She's like, "Oh yeah, I am pregnant." So it was a. Uh, <laughs> it was quite a surprise for her. Aaron was expected as a Kyle because you know, Kyle's friendly with all the girls, and we saw behind the scenes. You know, him, or Kyle, uh, Melissa, and Kyle. You know, you know they hooked up, did some things, this, that, and the third. But then he also said, "Oh, I, I, uh, my name, my new name is yada yada yada." Be Kyle, being Kyle, being a funny guy. So then, the, the the most drama thing was, you know, basically the Anissa and Nani thing. And, um, you know, you know what happened, you know. Nani was saying, I'm not, I didn't have to get naked, blah, blah, doing some low shots. And I didn't say this before, but Uncle Shannon, Uncle Shannon Sharp said, it's like, three times the people that tell the truth. It is kids, drunks, and angry people. And Nani was drunk. And when she said those things, she really truly meant it. You know what I mean? When people are drunk, the truth comes out. So, like, if she was supposed to be your friend why say that stuff you know what i mean like like that shit is that shit was whack to me now now nani says she is sorry which i'm sure she was you know and then um josh says some things that i'm like okay i, I always try to ignore josh I'm, I'm i'm being a bit biased and whatnot so you know she apparently she was doing anisa was like doing some little shots or whatever but nani was mad at the fact that at the bar she came over to casey Talk to her. You're supposed to be my friend. Why did you come to Casey? And Nani and Anissa said, "When you're drunk, Nani, you are difficult to talk to." So that's why I went over to uh, Casey. And me and Casey are cool. And yo, I don't want to be rude, but Anissa looked good. And I mean, with all the respect, like her tits look good in that dress. It's like I'm pretty sure it was having the same, like the same thing. Like yo, they couldn't stop saying they were just right there. I mean, they look good though. I mean, shout out to Anissa. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, and then you know. They at uh, oh sorry oh okay it was about to base this uh Vernon Davis um I'm sh I'm not sure if he's still playing in the NFL but he was the host and I'm happy for, I'm seeing all you know, these athletes getting these jobs and whatnot but like no respect to Vernon Davis it, it just wasn't all that great you know what I mean like I'm happy for him but probably wasn't the best host but anyways um that's any said not anything they asked Jen, they asked Jen and the question and Jen was like. Oh, you know, you have to understand, you know, we're in this house. And Ace was like, yo, is it a yes or no question? Like, don't, yeah, don't give me all this, um, this background information. Just answer the question. And, you know, I said this to my friend. It's like, yo, I'm just getting tired of, um, of, um, people, like, blaming the house for, like, their actions. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're in a tight space, but it's like, I'm not gonna let a house like that, um, make, like, make me say all these crazy things to people. It's like... Y'all need to stop blaming the freaking house, man. 
I mean, maybe it could be different. I was there, but it's like, I didn't see, um, I didn't see Nelson or Corey or Freddie say some foul shit to people. Well, then again, Nelson, was, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll go back, talk about that later with him and, and, and um, and uh, Kayla. But then, but then, you know, Nani says, oh, I'm the devil, and yada, 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 you know, she cries, she leaves the thing. And it's like, okay, what was the whole point of that? And then she comes back. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, what was the whole point of that thing? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, I think Nani's a cool person, but it's like, when people come at you with the truth, you gotta learn how to take it. And, you know, don't 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 walk away. You know what I mean? Like, Nani has no problem with going at other people, but when people are coming at her, it's like, you can't take the heat? Like, come on. Like... I don't know, but like I said, I still like Nani, so I mean, I don't know. If you're ready to look at this video, be like, oh my god, you're such a Nani hater, whatever. <laughs> so the what else happens? Um, yeah, they we 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 talk. They talk about K Casey and Bailey. They're still not cool. This down a third, like it was whatever. Um, like I said, that that part we didn't really care. Then we talk about you know West Bananas. You know, um, other people didn't know about their alliance. You know, they did. You know. And this one thing that they don't regret is, you know, making an alliance, you know, becoming friends. Like I said before, it was a long time come, coming for Bananas and Wes to become friends. Like, we saw this happen. Like, it had it had to have happened. Like, you saw, like, you saw something between us. So, like I said before, we were there at the Murray show. Like, you saw, you saw the, um, the, uh, the, um, the, uh, the brother, like, the friendship right there. So, like I said, I'm very, very happy. And they said it was at the movie award like M mtv awards it was a music awards or movie awards it was when you know like that's when they like they had a discussion and but hey you know what? we need to uh align each other because they kept coming at each other and they kept getting getting, getting sent home early so it was a long time coming to vx man i think fans truly enjoyed it great it didn't last all that long but it was great to see unless they didn't regret anything any bit of it so we did talk about you know melissa and josh you know going back to their argument or whatever Nothing too crazy about that. They um they were uh they apologized, whatever. Then we know Banan Ashley comes into the scene, um they're just saying you know, who's the bigger snake, Ashley and um Bananas. And like it was all love at the end of the day. There wasn't anything too personal between those two. And I I thought Ashley brought brought in some good energy. I thought Ashley was very funny during the whole uh thing. And um C T was funny too. C T was it seemed like C T didn't want to be there or whatever. And there was something that CT uh, wanted to uh, say. I think something that CT said that, I don't know, like, it was like, are y'all going to get mad at people for like, trying to win money? Yada, 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 call them snakes. Like, we're all snakes here. We all got to do we got to do to win some money. You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. And like I said, I, I thought that was just funny. And then, you know, I just was like, oh, you know, Jay and Bananas were the same girl. And you look at the commercial, it looked like they were looking all down. They didn't want to talk about it. But, like, it was just like, it is what it is. Like, even Jay told Bananas, like, yo, the, you know, the same girl was Morgan. We all know that Jay and Morgan were together. And then Morgan cheated on, on, Banana, cheated on Jay with Bananas. And Jay said, you know what? I'm, he's not mad about it. You know what I mean? Like, I think, including myself, we were all expecting, yo, is there anything kind of happened between those two? Like, what, what happened? But they said nothing happened. And like I said, Jay explained it when we first got it. He's like, yo, I got nothing against you. That's what it is. So, yeah. Then, you know, we relived the Jay and CT situation. You know what I mean? Um... C2 was a bit salty about it, but you know what I mean? Like, like C2 took, took it as a man, you know? He beat me. Fair game, you know what I mean? I don't hate the guy, so, you know, it is what it is on that. And then, um, oh, yeah, okay. we were talking about Kaylin Bear, and, um, <laughs> Vernon said the perfect question to Kayla. So, is being bored the, per the perfect reason, perfect excuse to cheat on your boyfriend? Is that a reason to bring up your boyfriend? That was funny. That was, I mean... It's a legit question, like, so you're bored, is that a legit reason to share your boyfriend? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that, I thought that was funny. I thought that was really funny. And, like, they did see each other after, but then they're not together anymore. She saw some other dude in England, the guy that was on, um, X on the Beach, cold, the, the cold one or whatever, she's seeing him. Then we got to the whole, like, Jenna and Zach thing. And Zach was being a complete dick. He didn't want to talk about it. Like, he was like, what does that matter? And blah, blah, blah. Like, Zach's a fucking dick. Like, he is. Like, <sighs> I just hope Jenna doesn't get hurt in this. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone's looking out for Jenna and whatnot. But, like, I get feeling a whole lot of people don't like Zach. Like, he he tried to make, he tried to make uh, Jenna seem like, as the bad person. I mean, she did nothing wrong. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... Whatever, I mean, they're engaged now, but we'll see how long that lasts. But really, that was really it. Now, there is a part two. 
part two is more of the behind the scenes. It seems like that, like I said, they didn't show. So um, that part, I mean, part two looks interesting. And, you know, the preview tonight, we see that apparently, you know, they they, they brought they t talk about you know Angela and Nelson thing. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh yo, that looks pretty interesting. So trying to see, I'm wondering what happens right there. So that's that happens tonight. Um, that's it for today. I mean, it's a short video. I'm trying to get this done before you know it comes on tonight. So. Subscribe to be part of the Knuckles family. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. What do you think about this reunion? Like I said, I thought it was, eh, nothing too crazy. Nothing too, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, but that's about it. So anyway, guys, uh, you guys have a good one. Be safe out there, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.